Welcome to Texibo.com. This is part 41 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files and database. Links in the description. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a dynamic product menu from the database with main categories and subcategories. To do this open general layout master page. In our category menu section, let's add a repeater to bind our main categories. Inside item template add our main menu link. Now let us make our category ID and name dynamic. Make sure the value name matches the column name. Now let us bind the main category repeater with data from the database. Write SQL query to retrieve all main categories. Now you can see we bound all main categories in our menu. Next, we need to bind subcategories of all bound main categories. To do this, we need to use the repeater on item data bound method. This method triggers when the data is modified after it is bound to an item in the repeater control, but before it is rendered on the page. To get subcategories we need main category ID, for that let us store main category ID in a hidden field. Next, create another repeater inside our main category repeater for subcategories. Add subcategory link and add column names for the subcategory table. Now bind this repeater with stored main category ID, so declare both controls and variables.
create a query to bind subcategories based on the main category ID. Now you can see we bound all main categories and its subcategories in our menu. Add our divider in the footer section of the subcategory repeater. Check our links if it is working fine. Make sure you pass query string type correctly for main category and subcategory. If you add a new category from the admin area, it will bind here. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, and don't forget to click the bell icon, thank you.